In today's show, I'll be sharing the latest weekend watch as Bitcoin gets rejected at $40,000 and as Plan B created the Bitcoin stock to flow model shares here, price at which all 19 million Bitcoin last transacted. In three clusters, we have the current cycle, 9 million Bitcoin greater than 20,000, the 2017 all-time high in aftermath with 5.5 million Bitcoin less than 20,000, early Bitcoin history from 2009 to 2016, 4.5 million Bitcoin less than $2,000, and most probably lost, including 1 million Satoshi. Coins. Also in today's show, crypto donations to the Ukraine exceed $13 million. This is the official Twitter account for the Ukraine. Stand with the people of Ukraine now accepting cryptocurrency donations, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT. And as you can see, 158,000 likes with over 43,700 retweets. And Vitalik responded, getting some confirmations from a couple of sources that it's legit, deleting my warning for now, but continue to be vigilant and always be slow and careful when sending irreversible crypto transactions. And Justin Sun also shares, I'm glad to announce that I have made my initial donation of 200 thousand dollars usdt on tron to ukraine the people of ukraine are not left alone in their fight against humanitarian crisis so there you have it you can see a lot of support coming from crypto twitter and as pompliano shares this feels like a turning point for fiat currencies globally a country that is currently engaged in violent combat to preserve its sovereignty and freedom is publicly soliciting bitcoin and crypto donations hard to imagine just a few years ago and as shang ping zhao the binance ceo shares here this is where blockchain shines global fundraising an even stronger method is to issue a new coin with future utility and benefits ico donation is a good way to let people help you a new coin binds people to you emotionally financially and globally and as alex gladstein shares here we've officially crossed the rubicon in terms of does bitcoin have any value discussion if people still refuse to see the value after mass financial deplatforming in canada and after the ukrainian government is fundraising with btc during a crisis they are truly lost. Also in today's show, Pantera Capital explains why Bitcoin can rally soon. They just released this new report entitled The Next Mega Trade. They go on to share that Bitcoin could resume its bull run soon because of tax day, which is fast approaching on April 18th. Also in today's show, here's how Bitcoin can explode to $50,000 in March, according to top crypto analysts. Justin Bennett. That's right. He plots out a roadmap for how the king of all crypto can recapture that $50,000 level in the coming weeks. Quoting him here, I want to show you what I'm looking for in March. This potential setup that could have Bitcoin trading up towards the $50,000 area over the next few weeks. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and all the major alts are currently pumping and in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here come the news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. Today's episode is brought to you by the FTX app, formerly known as Blockfolio. I've been using this app literally every single day for the past few years. It's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is check my crypto portfolio. I personally love it because it's the easiest and fastest way to buy Bitcoin, Ether, and other top cryptocurrencies with zero fees, truly making this a no-brainer. And they're trusted by over 6 million people worldwide in over 200 plus countries around the world. And have a special promo they're running right now where you can earn free crypto in every trade over 10 bucks. Here's how it works when you use my referral link in the description right down below. Every trade over $10 earns you a chance to get a random free coin. And the more you trade, the more you earn. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below and download the FTX app today. Make some trades, claim your free crypto, and let's start stacking those sats, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Make some noise in the live chat. Now, after being unable to overcome $40,000 yesterday, Bitcoin slipped by about $2,000 in the following hours, but has since recovered some of those losses, and we're back on the verge of testing that $40,000 resistance once again, as most altcoins are on typically calm on a daily scale, but looking at the broader time frame, Luna has charted a new monthly high. That's right, the past several days were highly volatile for the crypto space, as well as all other financial markets since Europe saw its first war since 1945. After weeks of escalating tension, Russia finally launched a special military operation against the Ukraine during the week, sending most markets into turmoil. Bitcoin dumped from $39,000 all the way down to $34,000, but the reassurance from the US 
U.S. and other nations that they will impose only severe sanctions and won't go into an all-out war against Russia sent the asset north. And in the following day, Bitcoin regained all of its lost value and even attempted further increases and challenged that critical $40,000 resistance yesterday. But to no avail, the subsequent rejection drove it south to around $38,000. But nonetheless, Bitcoin bounced off once more and currently sitting just above $39,500, making its way back to retest that 40K resistance while the Bitcoin market cap stands close to $750 billion. And as with Bitcoin, most altcoins experience similar enhanced price fluctuations during the week. Now most of them have calmed. That's right, it's been a volatile past few days in which Ethereum went down to $2,200. The second largest crypto has now settled at around $2,800 following a minor daily increase. Binance Coin, Cardano, Avalanche, Polkadot, and Dogecoin are also slightly in the green. Terra is among the best performers once more with another 4% increase, driving Luna to its highest price level since late January at over $75. Solana, Ripple, and Shiba have also lost traction since yesterday. Even most lower and mid-cap altcoins have stalled, and the crypto market cap has increased slightly to approximately $1.8 trillion. And as Plan B shares here, price at which all 19 million Bitcoin last transacted. In three clusters, we have the current cycle, 9 million Bitcoin greater than 20,000, the 2017 all-time high in aftermath with 5.5 million Bitcoin less than 20,000, early Bitcoin history from 2009 to 2016, 4.5 million Bitcoin less than $2,000, and most probably lost, including 1 million Satoshi coins. An on-chain analyst, William Clemente, responded, $40,000 is a very crucial level, and Plan B responded, indeed, reclaiming 40,000 would possibly be the start of the next leg up. An on-chain analyst, Willie Wu, chimed in, technically, URPD, the chart shown, shows where the market actually bought Bitcoin in real life and is therefore a solid view of price discovery. It says the market validates Bitcoin as a trillion dollar asset class, in my opinion, less likely to signal support zones. And William Clemente responded, in my opinion, it does signal support and resistance zones. By definition, support slash resistance levels illustrate key areas of psychological significance from the market. URPD showing where large amounts of transaction activity represents the same concept, especially in confluence with technical analysis, aka astrology for men. And Willie Wu responded, here's the data visualized over time. It works sometimes locally, but I don't see it as being very reliable. See 2018 bottom, COVID bottom, July 2021 bottom. They bounced in an area where URPD did not signal support. And before I break down next story of the day, crypto donations to the Ukraine exceed $13 million. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin inching closer and closer to retest that critical 40,000 resistance, currently up 2% for the day, trading just above $39,700. We have Ethereum up 2.5%, trading just above $2,800. Polkadot up 2%, trading at $18.62. And Luna up 3%, trading at $77.45. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Amid being invaded by its eastern neighbor, which caused significant disruption to its financial networks, Ukraine and its authorities sought donations and cryptocurrencies. The community and other people responded swiftly with reports indicating that more than $13 million worth of digital assets were sent to the provided addresses. Now, after weeks of increasing tension between the two former Soviet states, Russian President Vladimir Putin launched a special military operation against the Ukraine a few days ago, claiming that he wants to liberate certain separatists, while he also inserted that his military would not occupy the Ukraine or head towards their capital city. That's precisely what happened in the next few days. And as such, the country's capital currently fights for its survival and its citizens are either hiding in bunkers or trying to flee. And it's safe to say that regular life no longer exists at the moment in the country. While attempting to escape, countless locals flooded ATMs to withdraw their money, but the central bank had to limit cash withdrawals and seize electronic transactions, hence why we cannot trust fiat. Just pointing out the obvious. Now, at this point, reports started to emerge, indicating that Ukrainian organizations began receiving crypto donations shortly after the nation's authorities, through its official Twitter account, asked for more help in the form of Bitcoin, Ether, and USDT, as they share here on Crypto Twitter, stand with the people of Ukraine, now accepting cryptocurrency donations, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT. And as you can see, it got over 160,000 likes and over 44,100 retweets, and is currently going viral on Crypto Twitter. Now, with the ongoing disinformation coming from all 
all sides. Many question the validity of these wallets, including Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin, who stands openly against the war despite being born in Russia. In fact, he deleted his warning that the addresses might be illegitimate and also supported another crypto-related organization aiming to help Ukrainians. And Justin Sun, the founder of Tron, also jumped on board and said he was glad to announce a donation worth $200,000 in Tether. As shared here on Crypto Twitter, Vitalik wrote, getting some confirmations from a couple of sources that it's legit, deleting my warning for now, but continue to be vigilant and always be slow and careful when sending a reversible crypto transactions. And you can see Justin Sun tweeted, I have talked to the embassy of the Ukraine and to WTO, and the embassy has replied to me in five minutes that the information you have is correct. So all the addresses have been verified. Let's do it. Don't miss this chance. And Justin Sun also shares, I'm glad to announce that I have made my initial donation of $200,000 USDT on Tron to Ukraine. The people of Ukraine are not left alone in their fight against humanitarian crisis. So there you have it. You can see a lot of support coming from crypto Twitter. And according to the most recent estimations by the blockchain analytics company, Elliptic, the Ukrainian government, NGOs, and volunteer groups have received nearly $14 million worth of cryptocurrencies in the past several days. And the company said that the median donation is $95. But as reported recently, one anonymous entity sent $3 million worth of BTC. And as shared here by Pompliano, this feels like a turning point for fiat currencies Globally, a country that is currently engaged in violent combat to preserve its sovereignty and freedom is publicly soliciting Bitcoin and crypto donations. Hard to imagine just a few years ago, and as Xiangping Zhao, the Binance CEO, shares, this is where blockchain shines, global fundraising, an even stronger method is to issue a new coin with future utility and benefits. ICO, donation is a good way to let people help you. A new coin binds people to you emotionally, financially, and globally. And as Alex Gladstein shares, we've officially crossed a Rubicon in terms of does Bitcoin have any value? Discussion, if people still refuse to see the value after mass financial deplatforming in Canada and after the Ukrainian government is fundraising with BTC during a crisis, they are truly lost. And he makes a great point. And before I break down next story of the day, Pantera Capital explains why Bitcoin can rally soon. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sitting just under $1.8 trillion with $66 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. The current Bitcoin dominance is 41.7% with the Ether dominance at 18.8%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the week, we have ANC up 65%, Luna up 59%, Waves up 32%, and Osmo up 15%. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Despite the recent turbulence in the crypto market, Pantera Capital envisioned a surge in Bitcoin's price in the following weeks. According to the investment firm, tax day could be one of the propellers. And moreover, the crypto industry might soon separate from traditional financial markets and start trading independently. The company added, now let's discuss the light at the end of the tunnel. Bitcoin's last several months have been quite bearish, to say the least. While many proponents expected Bitcoin to be trading at $100,000 by the end of last year in 2021, it finished the year below 50 50,000 in the start of the new year meant more drops. Now, February 24th was another negative trading day as a military conflict between Russia and the Ukraine led to significant price slumps for the asset. And today, though Bitcoin has recovered most of its losses, it stands just shy now of $40,000. Now, in its report dubbed the next mega trade, Pantera Capital outlined its reasons why Bitcoin could resume its bull run soon. And one of them is approaching tax day, which is right around the corner on April 18th. And I'll include this report entitled the next mega trade by Pantera Capital in the show notes below the video in the description. But now, for some of the highlights, the company reminded that in 2013, 2017, 2020, and 2021, the previous big run-ups, Bitcoin's price soared significantly 35 days prior to the event. However, each time the asset lost some ground around that day, as investors were selling some holdings to cover for taxes, quoting the report here, that makes some sense. A lot of crypto traders are new to investing. You can imagine a person buying as much Bitcoin as they can. Since they're all in on crypto, the only way to raise cash to pay their tax bill is to sell some crypto. Prices fall leading up to tax day. Now, Pantera Capital also touched upon the Fed's policies during the COVID pandemic. The company called the mass printing of fiat currencies, the manipulation of treasuries, and mortgage of bonds clearly a wrong mix. And it further blamed the American Central Bank for rising inflation and the economic turmoil inside U.S. borders. Pantera Capital said that there is a bubble that will burst, following which the Fed will have to raise interest rates even higher. And according to CEO Dan Moorhead, this sounds like good news for the digital asset universe. Quoting him here, I had a very strong conviction that the markets are really getting this wrong and that the rise of interest rates, which I think was pretty obvious that it was going to happen and will keep happening, is not really that bad for crypto. And relative to the other asset classes, it's actually really great. 
for blockchain prices. And subsequently, Pantera Capital believes that the cryptocurrency industry will emerge as a financial niche on its own, meaning that fluctuations in traditional monetary markets will not be a concern anymore, as they share here. So we think over the next number of weeks, crypto is basically going to decouple from traditional markets and begin to trade on its own again. I agree 100%. I feel Bitcoin is on its own vector. And even though it may trade like a risk on asset, it's a fact it is a risk off asset. Just saying. And before I break down next story of the day, here's how Bitcoin can explode to $50,000 in March, according to top crypto analysts. Justin Bennett. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,000 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store, now live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a blog I update daily, which can be found at Crypto News Yes. Dot com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And of course, you can find me on all the major podcasting platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes to Google Play. And if you're listening to the pod, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at CryptoNewsAlerts.net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. A popular crypto analyst is plotting out a roadmap for how the king of all crypto can recapture that $50,000 level in the coming weeks. Let's freaking go. In a new strategy session, the crypto strategist Justin Bennett, shout out to Justin Bennett, digs into Bitcoin's recent price action and suggests that the leading crypto might have established a local bottom after Bitcoin managed to stay above $35,000. Quitting him right here. I want to show you what I'm looking for in March. This potential setup that could have Bitcoin trading up towards the $50,000 area over the next few weeks. We have two lowdowns here, $34,700, both in mid-January and this past week. This is a potential double bottom for the market. The confirmation for this is not only above $39,600. That's step one. Step two is a close above $46,000. That's the high from back here, approximately February 11th, which was my birthday, just FYI. So this could be the next line of the double bottom pattern. Bennett cites two key levels in which, if reached, could launch Bitcoin back above $50,000. As he shares here, we need to see a daily close above $39,600 and also a daily close above the $46,000 area. That will expose this area between fifty dollars and $53,000. That has been a key level on this chart for the past few months, which you can see right here on your screen. Now, interestingly enough, we're currently trading just above that $39,600 level. So we need a daily close above that. And then 46,000, then it's onwards and upwards towards a $50,000 Bitcoin price. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts. And to check out this entire video entitled Bitcoin $50,000 in March, check the show notes below the video in the description. And now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show, I shared a weekend watch as Luna taps a five week high and Bitcoin gets rejected at $40,000, which we're about to retest once again. Also in today's show, we discussed crypto donations to the Ukraine now exceeding $14 million, as well as Pantera Capital explains why the Bitcoin price can rally soon. And I broke down the latest highlights from their newest report, the next mega trade. Also in today's show, we discussed how the Bitcoin price can explode to $50,000 in March, according to top crypto analyst, Justin Bennett. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments. Right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode. B Styles wrote, JV, great show as always. I caught it twice today, Spotify and YouTube, as I love looking at my daily astrology charts. I believe 2022 will be a milestone year for crypto in general. If 2022 has taught us anything so far, it's keep control of your assets. When people call us crazy for buying the king of crypto because of crazy price swings, we can remind them that even if there is a temporary fluctuation, at least I can have full access to my funds. I don't think that the US dollar, Canadian dollar, or the euro can say the same take care fam and let's make max right on end of this year hey b styles always a pleasure sharing the latest astrology for men with my crypto fam well said always keep control of your assets trust nobody verify everything cheers and hodl our next featured comment comes from chris minka who wrote i agree with hugon with low supply on exchanges along with long-term hodler accumulation i don't see much downside risk from thirty-eight thousand dollars, 13 percent drop to thirty-three thousand dollar bottom spot sellers looking for a 20 percent gain is risking buying back btc not as low of a price as they think so sell side risk to me is low when a bottom comes in it's only for 12 to 36 hour range of time then quickly 10 percent rise from there avoid leverage ignore fud btfd 
as I did. Right on, Chris. Thanks so much for tuning in and sharing. BTFD, ignore FUD and avoid leverage. Sage advice. And our third and final featured comment comes from Bruno Raber, who wrote, prayers to the Ukraine in these uncertain times. Reach out to your neighbors. Hodl and hold, because as you can see by what is happening in the Ukraine, we are fortunate and it could always be worse. Yes, indeed, prayers go out to the people of the Ukraine during these troubling times. Thanks for tuning in, fam. Hodl, and to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.